Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 14, and we're continuing our way through the Paragus Mining Station. We just finished looting the dormitory. I, I mean, uh, discovering all the secrets of the dorm dormitories, and now we're, we're getting ready to head back to the administration level. So let's, uh, ma oh, isn't that the guy that's been trying to, that was trying to sell me off? And a corpse and another corpse. Hmm. So we got a mining laser, repair kit, some money. Always useful. Well, not always useful. It's not being too useful right now. Ooh, he's got some heavy armor. I can't wear heavy armor, though. Uh, I'm sure somebody will. Ooh, and he's got a miner log. Miner log. All right, we got to put that in a player. And what about the corpse? A laser and a melee shield. Four melee shields. Ooh. Ooh. All right. So, <clears throat> here we go. We got the turbo lift door. <laughs> we destroy the console to force open the door. Um. What about the logs? All right. I want to double check what it says on those logs first before we do anything else. No. Nope. Uh, is there no closer computer? No, because all that is is a workstation. Oh, I hate backtracking this much. But I definitely want to watch that minor log before I go too much further forward. So let's do that first. Because there could be something very useful in there. Alright, insert minor hollow log. Oh, good thing it only cost me zero spikes. Alright, and we get a private com link message. What did you want to talk to me about? I have to suit up and drill the 3219K asteroid claim within the hour, so talk quick. I heard you had plans for the Jedi, about selling him to the Exchange. Yeah, but security already set their piece on that, didn't they? Nobody's getting sold to anyone. Are they? I've seen the logs you've been accessing. Maybe the two of us could work something out. It doesn't matter what we work out. We wouldn't make one hyperspace jump before what's left of the Republic was on us. If you have a way off this station, I can cover our tracks. And ensure the Republic is not alerted to our presence. Well, I may know hmm. someone. Works the system on special jobs. He may want to know details, but I might be able to arrange transport. I've seen the logs. I know you've already asked him and given the details. Once he agrees, I can handle the rest. Handle the rest? Like how? When the time comes, I'll contact you via comm link. Maintenance out. Since when did the maintenance officer grow some horns? Um, <laughs> all right, I, I bet that was, um, uh... okay, I bet that was our fav our new favorite HK, um, uh, diplomacy droid, protocol droid, yeah, sure, he swears he's a protocol droid, he promises. Alright, and time for the final show over here at least. We got everybody's body looted. Let's head to the turbo lift console. And let's access the camera logs. Almost didn't make it out of the dormitory section before the lockdown, you murglack. You're cutting a little close, aren't you? Yes, a regrettable miscalculation on my part. I'm contacting you because I'm picking up a subspace transmission from within that level. Is that your doing? No, they they must be trying to use the old relay system to send an emergency signal. I doubt they know what's really going on. Hey, this turbo lift's locked down. Try the code again, and don't worry about the miners and their transmission. By the time help arrives, we'll be all the way to Narshada. Oh, they won't be leaving the dormitories. The explosion within the tunnel has damaged the ventilation systems, causing breaches in the core exhaust conduits. 
What? That's going <laughs> to kill them all. Not all of them, but I'm sending a number of mining droids to your location right now to correct that problem. Korda, this turbo <laughs> lift's locked down. The sequence isn't working. Keep trying it! You! Why are you doing this? Why me? You. It was never about you. The Jedi is all that interests me. But then you had to ruin everything by revealing his identity, and then trying to harm him. And that I cannot allow. Statement. You are a risk, Korda. You are impulsive, crude, and soon, deceased. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Okay. Well, that's good to know. All right, so we got the camera logs. Now we can open the turbo lift uh, sequence and we can enter it in reverse. There we go. And that didn't cost us any spikes. We didn't break anything. And we got some extra XP. Always nice. Um, when do we level up again? Uh, another 3,000 and some change. Okay. We're mildly light side. Gotta work on that. Although we haven't really had a chance to do too much one way or the other in that regard, so... Uh... Alright, emergency blast door. Hello! I have felt a disturbance. Our enemy is here. We must leave at once. Uh, enemy? The one that fired upon the Ebon Hawk as we attempted to rescue you. And he will not let us go without blood being shed. Uh, so what, if he's willing to bleed a little, that's more entertainment for me? No. Uh, if he didn't bring an army with him, then he's the one in trouble? No. Wait, who is this enemy? Or let's go. Let's just go with let's go. We need to make our way to the docking area on this level. I fear the airlock has already opened, and if so, we must be on our guard. If we cannot reach the Ebon Hawk, then we must find a way to escape on the ship that has docked here. All right. Kriya has joined your party. When she is in your active party, her mentor special ability gives everyone a bonus to earned experience points. Oh yeah. Oh, and she's going to level up, too. Nice. All right. Um, no? Nothing there? Okay. Let's go ahead and go over to Kriya real quick. And let's level her up. Does it say what she is? Jedi Counselor. Okay, so like me, she is... No! I'm a sentinel. She is a counselor, so that means that she is mostly force force powers. <laughs> okay, maybe a little punchy. Let's level her up then. Uh, all right, let's start with the attributes. She's got a strength of 10, and honestly, I don't expect her to be doing any frontline combat, so I'm not too worried about that. Her dex is good, her con is good, her intelligence is so-so, her wisdom's good, and charisma's okay. Since um, the stuff that she does is not as charisma-based, I'm tempted to either increase her dexterity or her wisdom. Um, although bumping her constitution would increase the implants that she gets that would also bump those things. Let's um uh, now let let's uh let's bump the wisdom. No, no, no. Let yeah. Let's bump the wisdom. Okay. And for skills, what skills does she have? She has four points available. She's got treat injury, awareness, stealth. Alright, so if I needed to, I could give her stealth. 
And repair is a class skill for her. All right, let's get treat injury up. Let's get awareness up. And... I'm not going to bother investing cross-class skills in computer use or demolitions because I'm not going to use her for any of those. Same for security, and honestly, even though repair is a class skill for her, I'm not going to dump points into that one either because that she's not... I'm pretty sure we're going to get T3 again as our droid, and his repair skill has got to be much higher than hers. So... I think, for the moment, I'll bump up her stealth score to max. And then I'll figure out the rest of life from there. Alright, let's go okay with that. And powers. Alright, she is going to be my primary support. So, burst of speed, okay. Uh, ooh, force aura. Force Aura only affects her. I could give her Force Valor, which would help, because that hits up all party members, and that frees up my points for other stuff. She's already got energy resistance. Does she have anything offensive, though? Oh, she's got a couple of dark side powers, too. Hmm. Okay, she's already got Force Push. I mean, we can always do, you know, some of these guys. Um, I've already got Stun Droid. I do want to eventually pick up Stun. Ooh, that's a tough one. Because right now, I don't know that I'll have another level between now and when I need it p to pick up Stun. So it would be nice to have somebody that has it. On the other hand, having a support character with more points, uh, cranking out the Force Valor when we need it for in-combat situations would also be nice. Hmm. I'm going to give her stun eventually anyway, so let's go ahead and do that. Um... Uh, because she's already got force push, right? Yeah, she's already got force push. So let's go with stun. Okay. And accept. Oh, she's got another level too. And she's right smack dab in the neutral middle. Okay. That's good to remember too. That means all her, all her stuff is going to cost a lot. Let's go skills. And we're going to go ahead and max those out. And then we got the one last point left to do. You know what? Um, I mean, we could just start dumping stuff in repair anyway. Sure, why not? I mean, there's other places I would rather put the points, but fine. All right, and powers, she gets one more. She is level five, so we can't get her heal, which I would really like to have on a support person. And might as well get her the stuns while we're at it. No, 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 no. Let's do the Force Valor, because I've got stun droid. She'll have the regular stun. An extra person tossing out Force Valor every now and again is always good. Let's do that and accept. All right. So what kind of equipment do you have? Nothing. Clothing. That's it. Well then, let's see what we can do about that. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's probably not the most useful gear for her, but it's better than nothing. And... Increasing her will save. Actually, you know what? I'm going to save that for Discount Karth, because he's probably going to end up on the party soon anyway. Uh, let's get an energy shield. And a Mandalorian shield. And... We'll save that for Discount Karth, and instead, 
give her the stealth field generator. So she, right now she's the only one with the skills to do it anyway, so. Alright. What feats does she have? Let's go feats. Alright, so she's got blast proficiency, lightsaber proficiency, melee weapons proficiency, Jedi defense, force focus. Ooh. Jedi sense. Alright, dueling. So she has got dueling, focusing on a one handed weapon. So we need to get her a single one handed weapon, and that's it. Uh, for sensitive stealth. Whoa. Oh, she took that feat. Okay, that's how she's got stealth as a class skill. And she's got finesse, melee weapons. Um, definitely going to want to get her finesse lightsaber before this is too far out. All right, so she's definitely going down the single weapon duelist kind of deal. So let's go to the main hand and... All right, that's a melee weapon. Does one to six physical. That's going to be two to seven. One physical and one to six fire. Um, and the rest of that are lasers and stuff. Let's go ahead and go with the guide on beacon. Just because... That seems to work. And, f oh, that's a two-handed weapon. That's a two-handed weapon. That means that she's going to have a defense of 15, whereas if I do the plasma torch, didn't that change your defense? I would have thought that would have changed your defense because of the feet. All right, either way, we'll, we'll leave that, because that's a single one-handed weapon. Not the best one, but, um, uh, and let's give her going to be one to eight, one to eight. One to eight. Let's give her a straight up not upgradable blaster pistol. Just so she's got something for range in case we need it. And that's going to be it, because that's going to meet the one hand, one one-handed weapon rule. Yeah. All right. There we go. Let's uh make our way back to Karth then. Karth. <laughs> I keep doing that. All right. Anything in here? No. If I needed to go into the Colto tank, I could. But I don't have any wounds to heal. Is there anything left to do in here? Nope. Because there's just that corpse. Is there anything new to loot in there? Nope. That's empty. Medical computer, lab station, and the empty bins. Uh, we don't need to craft anything. No. Oh. Oh, wait, no, 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 because that's a lab station, not a workstation. All right, that might be something worth doing, is crafting her a longsword at the next opportunity. Or whatever the sword is that we have. That's where I came from. All right, nothing in the... nothing's changed. No, no loots magically appeared in the bodies. It'd be kind of nice if it worked like that. Well, that's good to know. I hope they have something useful to work with. Maybe I won't have to craft or anything. Alright, security desk. Where you at, old lady? There you are. I wonder, is this one of those things where you can actually talk to them? What is it? This is not the time for questions. Yeah, it's time for answers, though. They are assassins, and they are responsible for the attack on the Ebon Hawk and the Harbinger. I did not expect them to find us so quickly. We must escape this facility. If oh. we remain here, then we will die. 
All right, then. Well, let's keep moving. Hey, there you are. What in space is going on? Who's this? Another Jedi? What, did you guys suddenly start breeding when I wasn't looking? Ah, uh, shut up and get out of my way. There's no time to explain. Grab a weapon and follow me. It'll take too long. We have to leave now. Let's go with that one. Uh, all right. I'm guessing that Republic ship that just docked isn't carrying friends of yours. I hope your <laughs> talent for understatement is offset by your skill with a blaster. If not, then I fear our time together will be short indeed. Yeah, and <laughs> I'm also good at running and drinking, your majesty. And even if you two aren't big friends of the Republic, that warship's the only way off this station. All right, Atten has joined your party. As long as he isn't the last party member standing, he can't be knocked out, and his saving throws improve the more he's wounded. That's good to know. Good thing we have a clear run to the ship. Threat, master. Perhaps I did not enunciate. Couldn't I? Couldn't I equip him with something? I suggested that you should shut down, stay put, and wait for rescue. Um. What do you mean? No, you're clear. I just don't listen to assassin droids. Let's go with after all the deaths you caused. Rescue is hardly the term I would use. I am not here to argue semantics, Master. So I will simply inform eh, potato, you that potato. you are wrong. As were those recently corrected miners. Mm -hmm. Uh, so you did kill all the miners. Negotiate a termination of hostilities. After reprogramming the mining droids to mine any organics they perceived, they began to kill the miners one by one. Then a series of flawlessly timed explosions drove the miners into flawlessly, you say. Where I was able to gas them all at once without wasting time hunting them through the mining tunnels. I then administered a large dose of sedatives to the remaining miners in the med bay. Enough to kill them, but ensure you slept peacefully. Of course, against my calculations, you awaken from your tank prematurely. I am ashamed by the inconvenience that caused for both of us. Uh-huh. And so, you order them to kill me? Answer? You misunderstand <laughs> me, Master. Those droids were there. To guard you. As I said, I did not anticipate you awakening from the tank. You are quite a hardy specimen for a Jedi. A ronto among humans, if you will indulge me the metaphor. Besides, hm. as you proved, Master, or if I don't. such droids could never pose a threat to a Jedi. The droids were custodial in nature, cleaning mm -hmm. the facility of other distractions. All right, so why did you want to capture me? Answer. It is beyond the scope of my programming to probe the motivations of my clients, Master. Suffice to say that I am being well compensated for my services. You have been a difficult target to find. You have been wandering the galaxy since the end of the Mandalorian Wars, leaving little record of your passage. It is as if you did not wish to be found by hunters such as myself. Or more likely... The Jedi Order. Dun 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 da da. All right, uh, you found me. Obviously, I didn't do a good job. Or who is this client of yours? And it looks like everything else leads to a fight. So let's let's try to find out about the client first. I mean, I'd like to probe with the you found me, but I, I get a funny feeling I'm on borrowed time. So let's uh, do that second one. in possessing the last of the Jedi. I don't think I'm the last of the Jedi, though. Alright, so... Alright, let's go back to the original intention. You found me. Obviously, I didn't do a good job. Mission. It was a matter of chance, Master. I happened oh. to be serving as a protocol droid on the Harbinger when you booked passage. 
After that, Protocol it was a Druid. simple matter to sabotage the Harbinger and call for a retrieval. Irritated statement. However, when the Ebon Hawk appeared and salvaged us from the wreckage, I was forced into a series of rapid recalculations, culminating in our current situation. All right. Uh, I've already asked what the client is. I, I really wish the uh, mind persuade would work. I don't think I took that power yet, though. Killing you was never the intention. If you resist my attempts to return you to your Kalto tank, however, I may inadvertently <laughs> fracture your skeleton in several places to incapacitate you. Oh, no, no, I'm not going to kill you. But if you resist, I may inadvertently fracture your skeleton in several places. All right, let me, let me try to poke him for the Finding client thing again. Answer. My programming renders me incapable of revealing the identity of my client, Master. However, I am free to say that my client is wealthy and very interested in possessing the last of the Jedi. All right, um, enough of this. You won't take me without a fight. I'm tired of listening. Freddy scrapped. All right, I don't want to fight you. But I will if you leave me no other choice. Resignation. Very well, Master. If inflicting pain is the only means to resolve this matter, then you leave me no choice. Oh, where did those come from? All right. Let me do two things. Let me first save the game. Let me second. End the episode dramatically. No. Uh, <laughs> actually, uh, let me second equip uh, my boy here with something other than a ribbed jacket. I kind of wish I had these guys, uh... Oh, not upgradable? Okay. Hmm. Alright, let's, uh... What can we get them with? Oh! I've got a couple of these. Okay. Neural... Oh, wait, no, no, no. I, I just didn't have enough. Let's get an energy shield. And let's get a... Yeah, let's get a mining shield, because that's going... Oh, melee shield? Melee shield. Okay. Uh, let's get that cardio regulator in there. And he's already got a mining laser. That's one to seven. Um, that's less good than the other mining lasers I've been picking up. All right, so the Republic Blaster is going to do better. The Field Survival Pistol is going to do uh, much better because we're going to get that bonus from the droid. So even though we're not going to get the, the 1 to 8 of a Republic Blaster, uh, it is going to do us much better on that end. We could just give him a heavy mining laser. I got a funny feeling he's going to be set up for dual wielding, though. So, let's go ahead and let's give him the really nice field survival... Yeah, field survival pistol. Let's check his feats real quick. Nope, that's not what I want. Nope, that's not what I want. There we go. Um, He's got spirit survival, scoundrel's luck, some sneak attack, melee... Blaster Rifle. He's doubling down on the Blaster Pistol, but he does not have two-weapon fighting. Well, okay then. Alright. Then let's just go ahead and let's keep him with that droid... that Enhanced Field Survival Pistol. And just in case, let's give him the Guide on Beacon as a physical weapon so he's got something. Just in case he needs to. And while we're at it, let's uh, level him up right before the fight. Attributes. He's going to need a high dex. He really could use a higher con. Uh, I don't think he's going to be 
Useful for skills. Wisdom would help his will save, though. Um, no, mostly I, I need I need his con up quick. So let's do that. Yeah, he's only got the, the two skill points. And... Oh, he does have stealth as a skill. And treat injury is not. Alright, let's uh, bump his awareness and his stealth... Sure. Let's go ahead and get his demolitions up while we're at it. Alright, and accept. And let's level him up again. And this time let's uh let's keep his awareness maxed out. And we'll go ahead and bump up the skills he's already got in other spots. Sure, why not? Ooh, feats. Here we go. Now we should be able to go two weapon fighting. And then Yeah, we'll do the two weapon fighting and then we'll start down the rapid shot tree. Yes. Alright, let's add that two weapon fighting. And that means it is now worth giving him one to eight, one to eight. That Republic Blaster. Alright, and let's save the game one more time. Okay. Okay. And then, right before the fight, we're going to end the episode. If you're watching live, stay tuned. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up live stream archives from some of my other stuff and various and sundry other videos because I do more than just this and if you want to get notifications don't forget to hit the bell and if you really truly enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff if you have any questions queries quips quotes comments complaints or other whatnot don't forget to leave those in the comments down below lastly if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a little value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.